It looks like meat is back on the menu as Dogmeat finds himself caught in a trap laid by the Super Mutants. Can Nora and her band of survivors take down the Super Mutants and free Dogmeat before they claim their prize? Let's find out in today's Fallout Wasteland Warfare Battle Report. Today we'll be playing the tutorial scenario for Fallout Wasteland Warfare called Troubled Beginnings, which you can find in the campaign handbook. The sole survivor, armed with a 10mm pistol and accompanied by two settlers with hunting rifles, will take on two super mutants with boards and bolt action pipe rifles led by a brute with a sledgehammer. In order to win, the super mutants simply have to survive and clear all four traps on the board, whereas for the settlers to win, they've got to wipe out the mutants and if possible, liberate dog meat from his trap, adding him to their four if they do so. Okay, so turn one, first thing I'm going to do is um, ready up and activate one of my settlers uh, and they're going to move up behind cover and then take a pot shot at this super mutant with their hunting rifle. So let's do a quick skill check. Hunting, the hunting rifle is perceptions. We need a six or lower which we get, um, and then the hunting rifle in blue range does two yellow dice, uh, as well as two physical uh, damage. So, my goodness. So that's three armor break and two physical damage. And that was against the just standard super mutant, which has six health and one armor. So in return, we're going to ready up and activate uh, this Super Mutant. So let's roll a blue dice to see what they do this turn. So they rolled two on the blue, which means that they're going to go for the objective. They also get to move yellow, so the nearest objective is the one just over in this direction. So that's one. Um, and then obviously they would keep on moving there. So. There we go. So they are now, it's now within range of that marker uh, and on its next turn, they'll be able to do a strength test to clear that trap. So next we're gonna activate our other settler. They're gonna move up one and again, take a pot shot at that super mutant, which is still within blue range, so Again, we need to roll a six or lower to hit, which they, <laughs> which they roll. Okay, so two yellow dice for another two armor breaks. All right, so our settler has rolled two armor reduction dice, does two physical damage. This super mutant is now up to four wounds, with two wounds remaining. So we're close to getting rid of that guy. Super mutants are going to activate this turn, or next turn, we're going to actually activate this guy. Just see if we can get him out of harm's way or if the AI can get him out of harm's way. Oh, so it's a star. So he is going to move and attack with melee, which he is not in range to do. Um, so he's just going to move into melee combat. He's so chunky compared to that poor little settler. And then it is Nora's turn to go. Um, I don't think we're going to get involved with this melee combat that's going over here. It's likely that this brute, their leader, is either going to go that way or this way. So Nora is just going to move up twice. So for the final super mutant, which is our leader, the Brute, two stars, they're gonna attack in melee. And I have just put Nora right in the path of that. Now, the, the Brute is a leader, he's a brawler. So uh, in melee combat, he's a dirty fighter. So he also gets an extra yellow dice, but he needs to roll an eight. So let's see if he can make that. Oh, he does, <laughs> he does. All right, so with the sledgehammer, he gets two yellow dice. It does two physical damage. Nora has three physical armor 
but with the dirty fighter, he equally gets to roll another yellow dice too. Oh no. Uh, it's more or less three damage. Three damage. So normally, that would mean that Nora is is taking all three of that those that damage. But because of the faction survivor card, I believe this is right. Nora is a unique unit. She's going to get actually a plus two to her armor rating, which is up to five. So three damage. We need to roll three or more, or three or less actually, and we'll be able to block this incoming sledgehammer attack. Oh, that's a complete miss. So we block one. Uh, so we block, we get two damage. So Nora is down to four health. At the start of round two, our Minuteman settler in melee combat with the super mutant manages to make a tough skill test to take it down, which is a major blow to the AI team. All right, that really helps actually in, uh, in us getting closer to dog me. We're gonna start with um, our super mutant's turn on this guy over there. I'm not even gonna roll for the AI dice because I assume he's on an objective. That is probably gonna be the thing that he goes for. Uh, so he has a strength of six. We need to roll a strength test and see if he can clear that trap. Which he doesn't on his first turn. And he, he doesn't. Oh my goodness. Okay, next we are going to activate Nora, actually. I was gonna activate this settler, but technically we know that this brute, their leader, is gonna attack next. So uh, I'd like to do some damage there, maybe, before we start. Although, yeah, I could move a, a settler up there and um, outnumber them, but I, I, th I think it's worth the risk uh, of leaving Nora there on her own for a second. So Nora is also going to make a close combat attack with her uh, pistol, which she does. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, <laughs> so it's going to be a black and a green. So one extra damage, so it'll be three damage potentially here. The Brute can block up to two of them which he does. He is, the, the Brute will activate next. Uh, he's in close combat. He has a strength of eight, which is fantastic. Uh, and be, so because he's a super mutant, he rolls uh, an extra black dice, I believe, in close combat. So first off, let's see if he can make it. Let's, let's hope not. <laughs> he, he just makes it. He just makes it. All right, so he's gonna be doing two damage uh, with the board. He's getting an extra black dice, oh, and two yellow dice. Uh, so no extra damage, one armor break, we get to roll an extra dice because he's a dirty fighter. So he has the potential to, well, he'll ignore two armor. Nora has a armor rating of Three. So I guess let's see if we can block one. Oh. We do. Um, so we just take two wounds. Down to four. Okay, and then finally uh, our last settler is just going to move towards dog meat. Round three starts, and once again, the Super Mutants fail to clear the trap they've been working on since last round. They're losing precious time and are giving the settlers valuable room to move up the board and free dog meat. All right, so this brute is going to try and finish off Nora, do a little bit more damage. And he gets it on the first try, so he gets one extra, or one black dice because he has a strength rating of over seven. Uh, two yellow dice with the board and then he'll get another one because of Dirty Fighter. Okay, so Nora could block all of the damage here. Ah, so we don't block any. Uh, we take two wins. Okay, so next I'm actually gonna get this guy to, um, oh, 
I just realized there's a, <laughs> there's a certain mutant over there. So I think he's actually going to, is he now within blue range? He's in, within blue range. Uh, we're going to fire on that certain mutant over there. I have a feeling like the certain mutants are not going to win this, uh, this battle report. <laughs> so we're looking for a six or lower. Okay, so that counts as a one, which is a pass. Uh, and with the hunting rifle, it'll do two base damage. Uh, let's see if we can, I guess, bypass some armor. So we have a potential of doing three damage here. Let's see if the super mutant um, can only block one. Uh, oh, and takes all three. So super mutant is down to three wounds remaining. At the top of round four, the super mutants finally managed to clear the trap, but at great cost, as our settler in Minutemen attire guns it down as it tries to make its way to the next trap. If the super mutants have any hope of surviving until the end of the round, and at least denying the settlers of a major victory, the brute has to take out Nora. Next, our brute is gonna activate, uh, and is once more going to attack Nora. Second action. That is a seven. So it does pass, bypasses two armor. Well, she just needs to get, we need to roll a one. Uh, we need to roll a one. <laughs> I feel so sorry for the mutants. We've rolled one, we block one of the damage. So Nora takes one wound and uh, survives for another round. Okay, so at this point, in essence, really, we, we just need to kill the super mutants um, for the settlers to win. So we're just going to outnumber them. Um, I, I feel really bad. <laughs> Nora survives the mutants' onslaught and is then joined in melee combat by Dogmeat and the final remaining settler, surrounding the brute and inevitably overwhelming it. The brute fends off the attacks valiantly, but in the end feels to an onslaught of vengeful bites from Dogmeat, likely retribution for being caught in their traps. Dogmeat is freed, the super mutants are defeated, and the Commonwealth is safe for yet another day. This was, in the end, a really one-sided fight, unfortunately, for the AI, but maybe the super mutants will get their chance at revenge very soon. If you've enjoyed this battle report and you want to check out more, you can click this video right here, can't they? Yeah.